Toronto Public Library and I'm very excited to welcome you to Mini Makers at Home. Mini Makers is a library program where we explore STEM concepts together. If you've never heard of STEM before, don't worry, we're going to learn it together. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And STEM is all around us. Today, we'll be exploring the solar system by making our very own sun using simple objects from our homes. The word solar relates to the word sun. Do you know where the sun is located? If you said in outer space or in our galaxy or in the Milky Way galaxy, you are right. The sun can be found far beyond the sky that we know to be above us. In the solar system, the sun is in the middle and all of the stars and planets and objects in space go round and round and round around it. This round and round motion is called orbiting. I have a diagram here that kind of shows this motion. So we have our sun in the middle and again, we see all the planets, including our Earth and all of the other objects located in space. They're going round and round the sun. Did you know that the sun is a giant star? It's made out of hot gases that glow. And because it is so hot, the colors swish and swish together to form a marbled look kind of like the way a marble cake swirls together, if you've ever had any. Parents and caregivers, please take this opportunity to do the activity with your children. Learning can take place anytime, anywhere, and involve the whole family. Now, are we ready to make our sun art? If so, follow along. For your sun art, you will need a piece of cardstock or construction paper, if you don't have these, you can use a large paper plate, which is already round, or even one side of a cereal box or a delivery box. Just make sure you get an adult to help you cut these because they could be harder to cut. Since these boxes also have a gray or brown color, your sun art might turn out differently than doing it on a white page, so keep that in mind. You'll also need a pencil or pen to draw a circle on your paper, some shaving cream, some food coloring, preferably in red and yellow. If you don't have shaving cream or food coloring, you can also use yellow, orange, or red acrylic paint. Remember that mixing red and yellow paints together can also make orange. You'll also need a piece of wax paper or parchment paper, which is where your paint or shaving cream will go first. Some tape to tape down your wax or parchment paper. A tablecloth, paper towel, an old rag, or some newspapers that you don't mind getting dirty. These will go under the piece of wax or parchment paper. It's helpful to also have an object that will help you scrape the shaving cream or paint off, such as a small piece of cardboard, a fork, a ruler, a food storage lid, or something else. Experiment with what you use. You'll also need an object that you can use to stir and that you don't mind getting messy, like a popsicle stick, a straw, a toothpick, or anything else in stick form. You can even use an old toothbrush or a real stick from outside. And finally, some scissors to cut out your sun art. Now that we've gone through our list of supplies, let's get ready to make our sun art. Step one. Cut a square piece of wax or parchment paper measuring about 8.5 by 12 inches, though you don't have to be too exact. Then tape this paper down to a surface you don't mind getting dirty. This prevents the paper from moving too much when we're working with it. I've used newspaper for my surface. Step two, take your piece of construction, cardstock, or cardboard and trace a circle. You can use the outside of a bowl to do this, like so. 
You'll then want to place that underneath the parchment or wax paper so you can see the outline of your circle. This will help you spread the shaving cream or paint better. We'll now go into the specific steps you'll need to follow if using shaving cream. Step 3. Squeeze about a palm-sized amount of shaving cream over the parchment or wax paper and make sure it's smooth and foamy. You might need to shake the bottle a bit to make sure it's not too runny. Step 4. Using your stirring instrument, shape the shaving cream as best you can into a circle. Step 5. Drop five drops of red food coloring and five drops of yellow food coloring onto the shaving cream. Use your stirring instrument to swirl the colors together without totally blending them until you like the effect. Step six, place the cardstock template on top of the shaving cream and food coloring and press the paper down, flattening it with your hands, but don't squish and give it a few seconds to absorb the colors. Step seven, pull the paper off and set it down. The paper will look like a big glob of orange, red, and yellow shaving cream. Step eight, gently scrape off the shaving cream from the cardstock paper with your scraping instrument. Step nine, allow your paper to dry about five to 10 minutes. Here are some examples of what your sun shape may look like if you used a paper plate or a piece of cardboard instead of cardstock paper. If using paint, the steps are pretty similar overall. Repeat steps one through three, then pick a color to start with, such as red, yellow, or orange, and squeeze a few dollops onto a new piece of parchment or wax paper. Use your instrument to swirl the paint around, add another color and swirl that around as well. Repeat until you have enough colors to form a circle. Then place the cardstock template on top and flatten it the way we did with the shaving cream. Here's a side-by-side -side look at all the suns together. It's cool how different they look. If you'd like to hang your sun art, you can make a mobile by crossing some popsicle sticks, pencils, or straws together and tying them up with an elastic or tape like so. Then you can poke a hole in the art with a hole punch or carefully with a pencil or toothpick like I'm using, thread a string or piece of yarn through the hole and attach it to the bottom of your sticks by tying a knot. Attach another piece of string to the top of the popsicle sticks and you've got yourself a hanging mobile. Or, if you just want to leave it as is, that's okay too. You can always cut out your sun art and glue it to another piece of paper to hang it up if you'd like. As you're making your sun art, think about what makes the sun so important to us as humans? or so important to animals and nature. I want you to also think about what type of effect you noticed from mixing the paint or the shaving cream in food coloring. If you said marbled effect, you are right. Do you remember what that word means? 
it means that the collars swirl and swirl together without actually blending together. That's actually how the bright gases of the sun look too. If you'd like, you can repeat the same steps by tracing circles of different sizes and using different colors in order to make planets as well. Have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed today's Mini Makers program brought to you by the Toronto Public Library. Be sure to check back soon for more Mini Makers programs at home. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.